Graham Brooks' biggest challenge of his short, illustrious career will come tonight at the Melbourne Town Hall when he tackles Sydney lightweight Wayne O'Donnell. However, the fight nearly didn't come off when the scales first indicated he was too heavy. Trainer Jack Rennie stepped in and it was decided that Brooks' weight was right on the limit, 9-8. Rennie says Brook has strict instructions on how to tackle O'Donnell. Well, I'll be sending Graham in the box him and try and get him on the back move, look for his weaknesses and uh, Graham's got such a good kit of punches that we can vary as the thing goes on but I do intend for him to go for the doctor to start. Really go up. At today's weigh-in, both came in under the 61.2 kilo lightweight limit. O'Donnell at 60.3 kilos, Brooke 60.7. And while not underestimating the tough Sydney cider, Graham Brooke is looking beyond tonight's fight. If I beat Wayne, I'll have one more fight after that and then follow the Victorian title. End of the year. You happy with your form, the way it's going so far? I am real happy. Right from the start of the bout, Graham Brooke handed out tremendous punishment to Wayne O'Donnell. The Victorian was in a mean mood, and it soon became obvious that the fight wouldn't go the scheduled 10 rounds. It was here in the second round that Brooks' savage punches and non-stop onslaught left referee Gus Mercurio no option but to stop the fight. The early ending coming up in a moment brought a blast from O'Donnell's trainer, Wally Bentley. But after I counted more than 50 blows from Brook, which left O'Donnell with no answer, I completely support the referee's decision. Rob Asprey, Eyewitness Sport.